seeing the circuit in 3D. Once you've got all your lines worked out on the circuit, you know, you're obviously turning in, turn it from the edge of the track, getting to the apex in the middle, running around the paint, using the whole track on the exit. Once your lap time's at a reasonable level and you've got that all worked out, you've got to look, start to look at finding all the time you can. That's part of a rider's job of going fast. And you've got to look at that third dimension, which is the angle of the track and the contours, the, the dips, you know, where the weight comes on and the weight comes off as you go over brows. So once I'm going quick, I start looking at those areas. For example, if the track goes off camber, I know there's less grip there, there's more chance of the rear letting go. So I'm a little bit more careful and carrying speed, but a little bit more gentle on, on the throttle. As the weight, as the camber comes back, you know you can come on there. For example, going over a brow of a hill, it could be off camber, on camber, but over a brow of a hill, the weight comes off the suspension and tyres, you've got to roll back off the throttle to match. As it comes back on, you're coming back on the throttle and use that force that the G-force pushes on the tyres to be able to get away with more throttle. So just to give you a quick cap overview, as I'm going around the track, I'm using those contours, not only going from outside to inside to outside, but I'm using, as, it, as the weight comes on, I come on the throttle. As the weight comes off, I'm more gentle with the throttle. As it's off camber, I'm like, oh, as it comes on camber, I know I can get away with it. So it's basically finding that bit of extra time and safety by using the circuit in three dimensions.